Don't wait. Do it now. Start today if you can. <laughs>
I will have a plateau. I will stall. I probably stalled about two or three times until I was able to figure out what it is that I need to do. And then one day, just I just said, bump it, and I just ate pizza. <laughs> but for some reason, eating those carbs the ne very next day, I dropped like three pounds. And it's crazy, and I did my research on endomorph body types is that because our body gets used to it, we our body gets adapted, and so we stop our body stops working as hard. We need to be able to trick our body. So the trick to doing that is like I said, after a week or two of eating like my low carb lifestyle that I've been doing, I pick a day to just go carb heavy. My body goes ahead and says it needs to switch to burn carb versus the fat. And then the next day, I go right back into my low carb lifestyle. I stay below at least 60 grams of carbs a day. Keto, I think you have to stay under 30. And I'm not doing keto. You would call it lazy keto, if you will. I'm just going under 60, not 30. Um, so I won't get into that deep ketosis like keto does. Make sure you have a carb day or a cheat day in between your long periods of a healthy eating. The next thing is to also switch up your workout because my body will get very, very used to doing one workout. Now the bar exercises, that, that program lasted um, six weeks, I believe, six to eight weeks. And it did one, lost 24 pounds. Now I wanna do it again. And so when I did it again, I wasn't losing weight as fast as I normally do. I was on in it for like four weeks and I had only lost about five pounds. So that kind of told me that I needed to switch up my workouts. So what I did was including a boxing class or a boxing program and I went on the elliptical uh, for another 30 minutes and that pretty much jumped my weight loss again just pushing myself a little bit harder just for an extra 30 minutes you don't even have to do an extra 30 minutes every day but in between your workouts have a day or two where you just push extra hard it'll push your body into knowing it needs to work harder therefore helping you to lose the fat a lot quicker and you won't have to worry about stalling all right, my next step, and I think I mentioned this in my previous video uh, about changing the way you eat. I changed the way I eat, like I said, to a low carb lifestyle. And how I did that without even remotely being deprived of any of my favorite foods is that I changed the recipes. <laughs> I made my favorite food in just a keto version of it. Even though I'm not on keto and I'm just on low carb, the keto recipes help me out with keeping my low carb low. I use this snack right here, it's called Parm Chips. Can you see that? It's called Parm Chips. And this is basically Parmesan. You know, cheese and keto are, you know, go hand in hand with a lot of fat. It really helps with satisfying my cravings if I want chips. Another option, you know I love candy. And so instead of eating my son's Welch's <laughs> or his uh, gummy, I have my Handy Dandy Smart Sweets, if you guys can see it. These are the as well. Mm. But I really, really love them. They only have three grams of sugar in it, girl. Like three grams of sugar. They're plant-based, so they're good for even vegans. Um, and they have a good source of fiber, it says. Free from artificial colors, free from artificial sweeteners. Only 100 calories for the entire bag. I don't eat the entire bag, but for the entire bag, only 100 calories. This has been a lifesaver for me when I ever want a sweet tooth and I want a piece of candy or something like that. These have been very, very, very good. Also, I eat my Halo ice cream, which is <laughs> heaven with some pecans in it. And that pretty much holds me over when I have those um, cravings. If I say I wanted to make um, a burger, a burger, right? <laughs> and low carb, you can have as much meat as you want because meat does not have as much carbs, but I would make my keto bread. I would put a picture of what my keto bread here. Um, I make them fairly thin and I will put my burger on there. I will put some avocado, some cheese, and uh, some lettuce or, or um, arugula, rocket. And that's pretty much what I eat if I wanted to eat a burger. Now I'm going to do a whole video on what I eat in a day so you guys can get more information about that. But definitely, tip number three is to find alternate recipes for your favorite foods. It helped me a lot, I bet it will help you. Now, if you have ever heard that green tea allows the fat to dissipate, they're right, <laughs> okay? I drink green tea twice a day. Once when I first wake up in the morning and then right before I go to bed. Green tea is a staple in my life. Green tea is definitely something that you should put into your 
um, the food regimen. Um, it has a lot of benefits. Not only gives you a little bit of energy, but with the caffeine, the caffeinated one, not the decaffeinated, but the caffeine one, well, as you sleep, it helps your metabolism to continue to burn. I do not put any sugar, no, no alternative sweeteners, no stevia, no sugar, no nothing in my green tea. I drink it as it is. After about a week of drinking it, I was pretty much used to it. Now it actually tastes good. Um, you have the option to put lemon juice in it or some honey if you want. I was to stay away from honey because of sugar. Um, but lemon juice is pretty much good. It also has some beneficial um, properties in it to help you to lose weight as well, especially your belly fat. <laughs> so green tea twice a day is definitely a staple of mine. All right, so my next tip would be if you have not done so before you start working out, I do this every six weeks or so is a full on detox. You need to detox your body from all the crazy waste in your belly, um, all the bad uh, bacteria, all of the bad uh, particles that, that stays in your gut pretty much and, and hinders you from losing weight, um, especially like all the water weight and stuff like that. So you would need to do a detox. I have done the celery detox before where you juice your celery for at least seven days. That does not taste very nice. <laughs> um, to kind of counter that uh, you can put carrots in and juice some carrots and put in it and it becomes a little bit sweeter. I would not advise to do anything that uh, your doctor does not uh, does not advise you to do. I am not a doctor. I am not a nutritional uh, uh, specialist. Um, I'm just telling you the things that I've been doing. Some of these detoxes can be hurtful. So make sure you do your research. Make sure that you know exactly what your <laughs> stomach can take. Apple cider vinegar is another detox you can do. You can do that for about a week. Um, and to help flush out your body, it does help you to go. Now, if you want a strong <laughs> detox, I have something called Ballerina Tea, and it comes in a box like this. There's a specific herb in here <laughs> that um, is helpful for cleansing out your intestinal system. Um, there are different ones out there. I get the one that has the gold sticker on it. That's the one that I use, and it's decaffeinated. Um, if you have not, um, done a strong detox before can give you some cramps <laughs> um, if you take in like a laxative or something like that magnesium you know you have that crampy feeling cramp level differs depending on your um, what your stomach can tolerate um, mine pretty much feels like a period cramp but I have heard some people having birth pains and <laughs> kind of cramping so you want to be careful with that tea but it does help me I drink it one cup um, about every six weeks or so whenever I feel like extra bloated and extra just too much. If you see my son coming down the stairs, yes, he just woke up from his nap. I would suggest you not go nowhere, like nowhere, once you take this tea because you will be going between an hour to sometimes it takes up to six to eight hours for it to actually flush. All right, my next tip into how I lost weight fast is to find a meal replacement. So on top of finding your alternative uh, food for your favorite foods, you wanna have a meal replacement, something like a protein shake, because ultimately it's low, it's low calorie and it will fill you up and help you to curb your cravings even longer. On a regular basis, I have a protein shake. I use my Shakeology protein shake that I get from my uh, program. Um, I'm not really quite sure of what other protein shakes that are equivalent to that one. You just have to do your research and making sure that those protein shakes can actually curb your appetite. Make sure it's between 200 to 400 calories and making sure that it has packed full of nutrients in it. Mine does have wonders of nutrients in it because you wanna make sure if you're not taking multivitamins, that that kind of um, puts that into you in the morning. My protein shake is the first meal I have of the day and I maybe have a piece of bacon or a piece of egg or something like that to go with it. I get really full off that shake. If you hear crunching, he's snacking. <laughs> Sorry. I know if you're going to your GNC, you can ask the clerks there and they can definitely point you into the right direction into getting a good and worthy protein shake. Uh, yeah, a good meal replacement definitely helped me to lose weight. It helped me to curb my appetite. I'm not as hungry. I think right here is a good time for me to tell you how to get involved in this giveaway. It's simple. All you have to do is like this video, be a subscriber, and comment down below. That is all I want, and you can be entered into this giveaway. Now, this giveaway is going to consist of a couple of workout stuff, a couple of things that kind of help, you know, me in the kitchen. I have some resistant bands I'm trying to give away as well. One, I'm only going to be giving away to one person, but... The special treat, if we can get this up to 2,000 views in the next month, I will give another person <laughs> some of this giveaway 
items that I have. I have a box full, you know, I have a box full. Not only that, but I am trying to do a giveaway about every 1,000 to 1,500 um, subscribers. So you guys go out there and share this video. Go ahead and tell your friends, tell your family, tell your groups on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Just share it out to the world and you guys can have a better chance at winning my giveaways. So there's some good things <laughs> in store for some of you guys. Now, let's keep it going. My next tip is to intermittent fast. Some people do not like intermittent fasting because you know, some people just wanna eat, <laughs> you know, first thing in the morning. But intermittent fasting has done wonders, especially on a low carb lifestyle because it helps to burn the fat a little bit more, especially when I work out while I'm fasting. Um, it targets my fat a lot uh, easier and quicker. If you have not done research on intermittent fasting, do your research on it. I pretty much do the 16-8 ratio which means i fast for a total of 16 hours and i only have an eight hour window to eat i fast from 8 p.m and i don't eat until around 12 12 30 p.m the next day it really does not take long to get used to intermittent fasting it took me about a good couple of days of doing it before i felt pretty good i wasn't hungry at all but if it doesn't work for you you don't have to do it but intermittent fasting definitely works so <laughs> um, intermittent fasting has helped me to curb my appetite tremendous i'm not hungry as much and it helps me to eat even smaller now let's get in the topic of alcohol now you know on the weekend sometimes we get with our girls even though we're not supposed to <laughs> but we get with our friends and family and sometimes we like to drink now i'm not saying you can't drink ever but you definitely have to stop drinking a lot <laughs> thing is when i do have my alcohol i do not have any girly or sweet drinks i pretty much sip on vodka straight rum straight now they do have stuff like bubbly and i used to have this good sweet uh, seltzer or or tonic water type of thing and it was actually pretty sweet and it was really really good but unfortunately you can't find it here in america so i pretty much tough it out you know gangs it out with a little sip of alcohol straight you want to keep away from all the sugars and your juices and all the orange juice and all that kind of stuff now if you want to put some lemon juice in it that's fine tonic water is fine drink it straight girl you'll be fine now my last tip that i feel like will benefit everyone i mean everyone is to go into your journey without any any excuses okay no excuses at all there is nothing in this world that can hinder you from losing the weight that you want to lose. There is nothing in this world that can hinder you from doing five or 10 minutes a day on the elliptical, on the treadmill, to do a YouTube program. Because a lot of this stuff is free now, it's free. There is no excuse why you can't do it. Like I said in the beginning, do not let anyone tell you that something will not work for you. You will find something. Do the proper research on what your body type is and what could possibly work for you and what you would like that you think fun even if it was dance you can dance for 10 to 15 minutes and sweat bullets okay the african dances that i've seen on youtube that i have done on days that i did not feel like lifting weights i love them there is no excuses put that into your mind sis put that into your mind there is no you have no excuse i have a lot to do today i have to do grocery shopping i have to take care of the kids i have to go to work i have to do laundry but I need at least 10 to 15 minutes to myself. Workouts can start off from 10 minutes to 15 minutes. Then you'll grow up to be in 20 minutes, 25 minutes to an hour workout. I really don't work out for an hour. My videos last 30 to 45 minutes and I keep it moving. If I can't find time to do at least 10 minutes, something is wrong. I'm thinking too much. I'm probably 10 minutes on the phone looking at social media and that 10 minutes I can be doing something even if I created a little workout right there on that floor. Some jumping jacks, some push-ups, some something. <laughs> just get out there and do it with no excuses in mind. Sometimes I really just do not feel like working out and sometimes I have to think like I do not want to go back to where I was looking and I still have work to do. You know, I still need to lose this extra 30 pounds that to get to my 150. So each day that I go without doing something is a step back for me. And I put that into my mindset. And you should put that into your mindset because you want to move forward. You don't want to take one step forward, two steps back. Take two steps forward, two steps forward, and two steps forward, okay? So there should be no excuses, okay? No excuses. 2021, no excuses. Hashtag. All right, guys, so that is the end of this video. I hope these tips will help you to continue on with your journey if you're already on it. And for those of you who have not started, don't wait. Do it now. Start today if you can. Start tomorrow morning if it's 10 p.m. tonight. Put it in your mind. Have no excuses. 10 minutes. I challenge you. 10 minutes. <laughs> Go ahead and do your workout. 
Go ahead and um, start making your meal pl your meal plans in your head, and doing your research, and getting your life back. 2020 was a show, okay? Coronavirus hit us hard, and condolences for everybody out there who have lost their loved ones. I myself have lost a loved one. Be safe. Make sure that you social distance, wash your hands, wear your mask, <laughs> and be kind to each other. We all need love, and we all need inspiration and motivate one another to make it through. If you have not already, please do subscribe. Hit the subscribe button below. Like this video and leave a comment if you want to be a part of my giveaway and giveaways in the future. I love you guys who have all been out there supporting me and continuation into my journey to lose this next 30 pounds. Show me some love. I'll show you some love. Let's all love each other. Press that notification bell if you want to be notified of my next video. Thank you again for watching and always remember that happiness is healthy and happiness is beauty. Bye-bye.